my name is uh, Aliu Samwe Sahid. Uh, I've been uh, staying in South Africa over five years now. I entered South Africa 2014. I work in the Oya Tambo Airport for some months in ESCOM. Also for some months, they terminate my appointment. I started business in the Blue Street and the Fandafat. We have shop, one of my brother, a lot of Nigeria people have shop there. Uh, we hear that uh, around uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, starting from 10 o'clock in the morning, taxi driver try to come attack our shop in the morning. We don't even know exactly what happened that time. They destroyed the shop, everything. They chased every one of us out of the shop to close the shop. We just closed the shop. They destroyed everything. We closed the shop. That we go to later. They tell us that one of Nigeria guy killed testing driver with gun. And when we we go there, me Pazana, I go there. The place where they burn the shop is far like third robots to the place where they kill taxi driver it's like f after four robots to three robots the place is a booth where the, the, the taxi driver try to beat yaupe people those yaupe people is a tanzania and a south africa all south africa know those people we are called yaupe people is a dirty is a rough people who the, the people that they are sleeping on the street that is those people they beat them that they don't want them to see those people around of them where there be the, the, the garage where they are loading from one place to another place but later in the, an hour one hour 30 minutes we hear that nigeria shoots taxi driver and the, well, this is how the problem started there in the area it's a canal we call it canal it's a bus it's next to stimbiko hospital Taxi driver tried to beat Yaupe, and there's a lot of police. They, are, they, are, they are, sometimes they have to go there and collect money. They have to even come to the normal place to collect money. But because of okay, who, who collects money? Police collecting money for those Yaupe. Because a lot of those Yaupe, they are saying that they are working for police. They are selling drugs for them. I know those people, those police that they are, those Tanzania are working for, that they are selling drugs for them. They used to come and collect commission. If they are, if another police came, arrest Tanzania or any South Africa, the next one hour we know that they will release the person. We see the person on the street that is selling Yaupe and cocaine. Immediately, the next one hour, we can't talk, we can't do anything. Because there's nothing we can do for them. Only what they will do for us to arrest or collect our money for nothing. Okay, why are they not accusing Nigerians for this crime committed by other nationals? Uh, the, what I can say, the reason why they are accusing Nigeria is uh, a lot of Nigeria have shop there that they are selling uh, a lot of business. They are doing a lot of business there. But Nigeria are not selling cocaine. They are not selling. I'm not saying all of Nigeria, but na those Nigeria that are around of the shop, they are not selling cocaine. They are not. They are, uh, uh, they, uh, even those Nigeria are not the one who kill the taxi driver. The police came to collect money from the Yaupe people, and taxi driver are attacked them that they need their own share money, whereby police are coming every day and collect money. They are making money from them. If that, this, this, that is where argument come from taxi driver and the police. And that policeman is now asking the taxi driver, what is is the problem? Why is it disturbing them? They are on their duty. The problem come. The uh, police uh, cock the gun, and the Yaupe guys call uh, the police. Give the Yaupe guy to shoot the taxi driver. Immediately, the Yaupe guy shoots taxi driver. That's how the taxi driver die. Not Nigeria kid taxi driver. The following day, before we we open our shop. We see the whole taxi driver, they already make a meeting that they want to retaliate with Nigeria. Without doing anything, 
Nigeria is the one who is doing our business. They say we are taking our job. They are, we, are, they are, we, are, we are taking their job. We are taking their lady. Whatever. When we do, we don't have anything, any, anything about them. Yes. Um, in order, in order to confirm what is just said right now, there's a video I saw online by a South African. Um, that video actually stated that it is not in Nigerian that killed the taxi driver. It was a South African saying this on social media. So that also confirmed what you just yeah. said right now. Yes, I'm confining this thing to the all Nigerian nation that is not Nigeria killed the taxi driver. If Nigeria still want a lot of evidence, I have a lot of evidence on my phone. Whereby the evidence, I send one of them to the high commissioner in Pictoria, in the outfit, whereby the, our embassy, is is and i send it to the uh, mr uh, ed and mrs chendi they know me my name is somewhere they know me i can tell the nigeria the a lot of full evidence that is not nigeria kill taxi driver now what is the story behind these pictures that you are holding right now the picture that i hold it right now that i'm trying to show that i'm showing all nigeria now this is the blue this is the blue Fandafat. This is Fandafat, where the taxi driver started bend our shop. This is not the place. The reason why I hold this picture, my shop is here. I lose a lot of money here. My brother are there, my sister are there. They lose a lot of money. They already bend their shop, their property. They kill some people. And South Africa government are lied to Nigeria government that there is no one of Nigeria that is dead. They keep their dead in Mosuari. Some, some, some dead we discover that is in the booth later. If we yesterday they kill one of Nigeria guy and they are lying to Nigeria that they are not killing Nigeria. They are killing Nigeria. The reason why I hold this picture to show all Nigeria is that they are lying that they are not killing Nigerian people. This is where they started and burned the shop. And what is making me do this is that this is not the place where they kill taxi driver. The taxi driver move away from four robots starting killing Nigeria, whereby police and Tanzania kill taxi driver. This is the truth I want to show the Nigeria. And I have a lot of uh, South African uh, police that they are going for investigation to, uh, they ask me a lot of questions, I tell them, I refuse to, to give them the details because I know they already give me attack before, they want to kill me, they put plastic on me in the uh, poli po central police station. That's why I don't tell them the full, uh, the full evidence. I have the full evidence on my phone and I can give Nigeria the police who work the duty from 10 in the morning to the exactly the time where they are killing Nigeria when they are starting the riot. I thank the APS airline, I thank the, our Nigeria that uh, they provide airline to save our life. And I want to, the only thing I can tell the whole Nigeria is that I beg the government to save the people. Our people are dying for nothing. Police are killing our people for nothing. Our people are dying for nothing. I beg Nigeria to save people in South Africa, to take them out of South Africa. They are killing people every day and they are lying that they are not killing Nigeria. Police are corrupted. Police are in Tanzania. They are selling cocaine. They are dealing with drugs. I can show them the, the place where they are meeting, the place where they are collecting money, where police are giving Tanzania drugs on street to sell for them, and they are collecting their commission. I talk, I, I, I'm speaking on behalf of all Nigeria in South Africa. I beg them, the, the, the government, to help all Nigeria that they are living in South Africa, to find means to take them out of South Africa, because I know they will still kill some people, they will still start war. As I'm talking now, yesterday, taxi driver is still starting with Nigerian people. In the blood again, exactly where they are killed, where they are starting riots. They don't allow them to work, they don't allow them to do anything. They are still beating them and killing them. They can they can ask most of the doctor in the uh, Victoria. They are already poisoning most of the doctor where they are working in South Africa. But this thing is hiding. No, the government doesn't know the truth. I'm speaking the truth. This is what I want to tell all the Nigeria to help our people. Okay. Thank you for telling us your story. Um, I wish you uh, a, an happy stay in Nigeria and a peaceful one indeed. Um, 
I hope you will be able to start a new life in Nigeria. So thank you. You're welcome.